let's start. So, financial analysis number three is more on income statement. So, again, uh, when you say income statement or statement of operation, uh, we are dealing with the either sales, revenue, or service income. So, here our example is sales. So, just remember that in income statement, the base percentage is always the sales. Okay? So, in balance sheet, the base is the asset. But here, the base is the sales. So, wherever you have problem regarding computation, you just start with the sales. Just remember that sales is always 100%. So, here in the problem, we have sales minus the cost. So, is equals to gross profit. And then, we have the expenses. And then, in order to get the amount of the net income. Again, our example is a sole proprietorship and partnership. Okay? So, in a given uh, situation, the only given amount is cost and the amount of the net income. Well, the given percentage is only the percentage of gross profit, which is 30, uh, 37%. So, what we are going to do? So, again, we just put 100% on the amount of sales. So, we have here sales, 100% minus 37 in order to get the middle percentage of cost, which is 63%. Okay. So, upon getting the amount, you just divide 400,000 divided by 63% in order to get the amount of sales. Okay, so we put uh, we compute 400,000 divided by 0.63 or 63 percent. So our sales is 634,920.63. Okay, so we we already have the amount, so we just did that. 634420.63 minus 400,000. So, we have gross profit of 234,920.63. And there's, there's already a given amount on the net income. So, we just deduct gross profit, which is 234,920.63 minus 165 of net income in order to get the amount of expenses. So, we have... 234, 234, 920.63 minus 165,000. So, the amount missing for the expenses is 69,920.63. Now, the problem here now is what about the amount of percentage? So, how we will, uh, we're going to get the amount of percentage of expenses and net income. Okay, you just divide the amount against the amount of sales because the base is sales. So, the denominator will be the sales. So, expenses which is 69,920.63 divided by 634,920.63. So, the result will be the percentage of expenses. So, we have 69,920.63 divided by 634,920.63. So, we have 11%. So, this one is 11%. Okay. So, 37 minus 11, the ending uh, percentage of net income is 26%. Did you understand now? So again, uh, let me give you another example for you to understand more on this financial analysis number three. Okay? So the given here is the uh, percentage of cost, which is 62%. And the amount of expenses, which is 188. And the amount of net income, which is 62,000. So... Again, we're going to get first the percentage of sales, which is 100%, minus 62, 
So the gross profit percentage would be 38%. Okay? So we doesn't have the amount yet. So we're going to add this back to get the amount of gross profit. Net income of 62,000 plus the expenses of 188,000. So our gross profit will be plus 188,000. So we have 250,000 gross profit because it's already uh, the gross profit already have a certain amount of percentage. So we need to divide the gross profit against its percentage. So 250 divided by 38%, the result will be the amount of sales. So 250 divided by 0.38, so the amount of sales will be 657,894.74. Okay? So, we have already the amount of gross profit, so we just deduct sales minus gross profit in order to get the amount of cost. Okay, so we have 657,894.74 minus 250,000. So, we have 407,894.74. Okay. Is it correct that this is 62%? So, in order for you to get, if, if it is real, you just divide 407,894.74 against 657,894.74. Then you still get the amount of percentage. To get the percentage of the expenses and the net income, we just divide it against the sales. Okay, so 188,000 divided by 657, 894.74. So the amount of percentage will be 188,000 divided by 657, 894.74. So we have 28.58%. So we have 28.58%. So, we just deduct it to 38% minus 0.38. So, 38 minus 28.58. So, we have the remaining 9.42% for the net income.